Okay, y'all, this is the bad spot here. This is coming in from this here, so we're fixing to cut it all out and uh, go with it here. Okay, so we're gonna cut this out because we got mildew and uh, stuff back here. We'll cut it out because of that. Basically, this um, dryer vent here is wicking. It's got a, a towel sticking out of it, so it's wicking all the uh, the rainwater is coming out of the roof, going there and wicking inside, ruining that floor. So we're cutting that out. We've got a new sheet of plywood over here. We're going to put right in there. So we should be uh, we should be good at that. I'm trying to stay off the nails and all that good stuff. instead of particle board like what's there now. And then we won't have that problem. We got a new one of them we're gonna put in. It's right there. So uh, it's got a new cage on it and we actually got the metal one. They make a plastic one and a metal one. We went and got the metal one. So it's actual metal. So you don't have to worry about it. it makes it a lot, a, lot, uh, a lot more rigid. Keep you from bending it up knocking it i was over there looking at the plastic ones and the plastic ones like what that is all of them on the shelf the, the uh ends was the ends had already fell off falling off of them so it was like huh shouldn't get that so i got this one here instead so we'll see i better make sure that it's not uh, it's awful heavy Made in Canada. That's good. One year limited warranty. Who's gonna take it back and try to get a warranty out of it? But anyway, it's metal, so it's a lot. Seems to be that thing weighs like five pounds and the the other ones weigh like half a pound, so that makes it nice. So we're getting that. And uh he's got this cut out. He stepped right there early to make sure it was cut through and it is. So he should be good. We'll get back with you when we get a little farther along on this project. We've got to get up there and we're probably going to saws all that off. Just because it would be a lot easier when we get to these. You can tell where the nails are. So he cut just on the right hand side of these nails. Just on the right hand side of those nails. Over there. And then there's a line right here with nails. So we'll figure all that out. Get it worked in there and get it right. Okay, yo, we got all the rod out. That uh, that board is fine. It's got a little discoloration on the top. He's cleaning the rest of the top of them boards off. All the boards are perfectly fine here. We're gonna lay some more insulation in here. Um, we might do a little bit more over there. He's having a little problem there with the, uh, it's basically two before somebody laid on side for some reason there. We'll have to play with 
with that a little bit probably. But other than that, we'll be good. We'll cut another piece out, slap it in there, put a little more insulation, and be good to go. And then we'll be outside working on that piece. So shouldn't be long here, and we'll be uh, we'll be working it to get it done. Here. Everything looks good though. Usually these two bars rot out at the end, or two by sixes rot out at the end, and you gotta cut the ends of them off and space and splice new ones in and all that. If you want to see that being done, go back to our other mobile home that we did, and uh, in that master bathroom, we had to do that on every one of them. We had to replace a bunch of them, splice in on the end, and actually redo all the wall joists over there not the other one so if you want to see how to do that we did that or how we did that we did that up another. none of this is a how-to this is all how we do what he's doing there the few nails that he can't pull out he's driving in getting them down where you don't have to mess with them um Looks like they glued every other joist for some reason. That joist has got a little bit of glue on it. This one has glue and this one has none. So that makes it nice. Or we don't have to mess with it too bad. But that's what we're doing. We'll come back when he's landing the sheet of plywood in here. Uh, like I said, we're going to put some more insulation. We're going to put some more insulation in this one and uh, that should suffice. I've got some sitting here that we use for a couple of the walls in here. I got some R13 with her on top of that. It should be fine. We'll probably stuff some in over there too. Okay y'all we found it. It did look right. So we went ahead and cut it on back. We're also gonna cut this back a little more. There's a little rot there. So we want to come in here and cut that square out. So we're gonna cut that corner we got all this cut back. Still more insulation we gotta put in. We gotta try to get as much of this trash, or not trash, but as much of this old wood out of here as we can. So we don't we don't want a bunch of you know rodents li living in there. We got a couple of holes where somebody ripped through the bottom. We gotta fix a big hole there. We gotta fix that from the underside, but uh, that is something we did. That's just part of it. That ain't nothing we did. That's just part of it. But you can see the ground down there. That's where people uh, go underneath these things and cut the bellies all the time. You cut them bellies, it's a pain in the butt. Basically, it's just plastic down there. But that's a special plastic. You can't just go back and put regular plastic in there because it'll all rot out of the whole moisture. That stuff, uh, you can basically see through that plastic. It's like a woven fiber type stuff where they put up there and you can, uh, it'll breathe and won't let moisture and stuff collect in here. If you put trash bags or like six mil plastic under it, up tight up against the bottom of it like that, it'll make it all rot out of the whole water. So you don't want to do that. You can put duct tape over the, uh, the seams there. We have done that and been successful at it because you're only doing a small spot but you don't want to go in there and put a big sheet of plastic on it. Don't us don't ask us how we know, but you don't want to do that. So we're still working on this. We've got, like I say, we got that spot open. We're going to open up another spot back here because we don't like how that looks there. So we're going to come in here and cut that open and we'll get it fixed. We'll come back when we get a little farther along. This is going to be like 36 inches or something, 36, but maybe, you uh, know, I don't know, 48 maybe. We might have enough for a Pac-Man back on the plywood here, but we'll see. Okay, y'all, like I said, we cut that little piece out because that was a bad spot. Got all this done. Got all that trash picked up out of there as much as we could. Got that done over there. We will got to uh, start putting bracing in it now. So we're gonna start putting uh, two by fours in it. There's all the trash that we pulled out of there that we didn't like what was in there. We're gonna put more insulation and all in there when we get to that point slide that insulation in nothing rotted there everything looks good um a little discoloration in the wood there but nothing um we'll block it up with two by fours 
we'll be good to go here shortly. You can see our new water lines that we ran there. They go right there and go back that way. So, we've got all of our water lines in there. Nice and tied up tight in there. We should be good. Okay, y'all, we're getting our blocking in. We're getting our blocking in here. We're getting it all the way around. We gotta get a, one there, they're working on it now. So, getting it all blocked up. And we'll be ready here shortly. This is all gonna be three quarter inch plywood, so it's gonna be nice and tight. And all that good stuff. Three quarter. More insulation. 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 Insulation real good in there because that's all of our uh, water lines. So we're going to have to get insulation good. No, we're not using those, uh, those PVC lines. All of our pecs, you can see, is tucked up in there beside it. But we didn't pull all that out. We just left it in because we don't need it. And it's not hooked up to anything. It's all broken up, and uh, there was no need to take it out of there, so we didn't. Looks like there was an electrical box down there I didn't even know about. But anyway, there we go. We're going to uh, insulation, insulation, insulation. Another board there. Put it all together real quick. Okay, here y'all. Here's our insulation in. We got all that in. We put a little patch there, but we got everything here. I'm going to lay this piece of three quarter in there and uh, get it done. There's our insulation and all in it. All right, so we've had this dryer vent out here that's just all destroyed. We're finally going to swap it with a little better one. That's the plastic. Uh, it's all caulked in and but the problem is the whole front of it, the whole outside part of it broke off. So water was getting in there. So they had like a rag thrown up in there, but the water was actually getting inside. Remember this thing was sitting for like 10 years. So we'll see here. We're gonna pop the old one out and we've got a new, uh, a little bit better one that's made out of metal. We're gonna try it and see if that'll uh, keep us less uh, keep us more dry okay y'all here's this one we've got this three quarter inch plywood in we got it all trimmed out and got it done got our uh our uh, dryer vent back in there the way it's supposed to be we got it all uh, reinforced got everything done to it here so uh it's looking good cut out all the bad if you remember we had a couple little water spots in there got it all out got us a patch over there Got everything looking good. So, uh, there it is. Here we go, y'all. That outside mint there, we got it on. We got, that's nice metal one where, you know, some people's gonna say it, it protrudes out too much. That would be the only downfall of it. It sticks out pretty good there. It's sticking out about six inches. Where them other ones are flush, so they don't get in your way. They don't get in your way that much, but this one's metal. Them other ones are plastic. The plastic ones, for some reason, they break. All of them on the shelf was broke when I went to go get them. That one there is a nice heavy-duty one, and uh, I like it better. So there you go. It is fixed up, caulked in, ready. Shouldn't have any more water issues there. Okay, y'all, we got this, uh, uh, this laundry room. We got it all painted. It's all slicked up and painted up. But it's all ready. Ready for whatever you need to do in here. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. This was a mother. A mother. This was M U D D A H. This one, man. Okay, we'll start there. The chirping you hear is the <laughs> is the smoke detector. The smoke detector, we got the power on. You see, they're hardwired in. 
We don't want to pull the little plastic tab because I'll have to buy a new battery after the week because when we leave, we turn the power off and these things are going to chirp all week. If we don't kill my battery. Exactly. So we know that it's chirping because of the battery, people. Come on now. Now, Donnie, wouldn't it be funny? Think how aggravated you would get if we filmed the end of all of these videos on the same day and you had to tell that story about the batteries chirping yeah, like 10 times in a row. Boy, you'd be aggravated by the time you got all the way through to the mobile home down to where the, uh, the laundry room. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so, y'all, we have to do all kinds of stuff. This thing here, this little vent here, was messed up. It was messed up. It had a rag hanging out of it. Had it looked like it was a big lady's uh, uh, undergarments. I stuck that rag in there because a raccoon. Where did you get there. the big lady's under? It was in that bedroom. Oh, okay. So. Tawny's not a big lady, people. We're not saying that. She probably yeah. watching this video. We're not talking Are about Tawny. We're not talking. <laughs> So there was a rag in the dryer vent. Rag, nice rag. Nice rag. It was pink, but it was good. It was big. <clears throat> okay, so. The, all that was, the water was running in our rag. And rotting the floor. Rotting the floor. So a big spot here I had to replace. Had to replace a big spot of drywall. Had to replace all this drywall. There was a spot here that was leaking because the the lean-to that they had built on the back. We didn't get much footage of that lean-to on the back of this place. I think, uh, didn't uh, Tim do a video? He did very I think, video. But I think he put up a video of it, very I think. Little. Yeah. So anyway, there was a, they had turned this place, if you didn't watch the whole thing, they turned this place into a convenience store. So there was a building built onto the back of the, of the deck, which is right outside this wall. Yeah. And where it met the wall, they had done some crazy stuff, and it was leaking there. Just a little bit, though. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't yeah, crazy. Was leaking, so. We fixed all that. We got it fixed. This is for the washer and dryer, obviously. We had to replumb everything. So we got hot, cold water. We got our main shut off back. Tell them about uh, the pecs and stuff and the uh, mobile home pipe and the problem there. This, uh, this house had uh, CPVC, which is a a yellow plastic, a yellow PVC pipe. It's designed for hot water. It's about the worst stuff I've ever seen. It's amazing that they ever used this crap. The, uh, it was probably good at some point, but now we're 23 years in on this thing. So it was very brittle. It's so brittle, you can touch it and it'll break. I mean, if you, if you squeeze those pipes at all, Bam, they snap in half. They snap. We we had them in our other. Place. And it's the it's not the the sewer. It's the water. It's, it's the like water. what the water's on. So imagine you're you you got pr water pressure, and you you get a little break in one of those PVC C PVC pipes. I mean, it is just run you out constantly. So this one we decided we're gonna go all in plumbing in it. So we ran plumbing from one side to the other. It's all a PEX pipe. It's all brass fittings. It's all copper crush rings. And it's every piece. Every piece. Like every connection. So basically you got you got four areas. Kitchen, laundry room here, two bathrooms. Hot water tank. Hot water tank. So basically now they're trying to get everybody to use plastic fittings again with the PEX pipe. Well, the plastic fittings was the problem last time they did that in mobile homes. We're gun shy. They had gray <laughs> pipe with gray plastic fittings and plastic fittings broke all the time. We don't want no part of the gray, we don't want no part of the plastic fittings. They're also now are not using any crush rings. They're using a tool, an expansion tool to basically expand the pipe and let it come back down and suck to the, the fitting. We ain't doing that either. So we're doing old school P, uh, pecs, which is actually kind of new school, with, with crush rings. With crush rings, with brass fittings. We like that. We love that pec stuff. We're not playing with the other stuff. So we redid the whole house with it. It took about uh, probably 400 foot of pipe to do this house, to do it all. We got it all done though. We got it all installed. We used blue and red. You, you kind of have to do that because if you leave that old stuff, you're just going to chase leaks. I mean, you're going to have problems. 
yeah, this one, uh, this one, it was a better option to do that. We had enough holes where we could thread it through. Yeah, it was a little easier to like actually put the stuff in. Um, if you wasn't gonna redo the whole subfloor or the whole flooring where you could cut holes in the subfloor, it would have been extremely hard to do. Yeah. So, opinion. so if you're living in a home, it's it's gonna be hard to replace everything with PEX pipe. Yeah, you can do it, but it's gonna be hard. And we just left the plastic in there. We didn't try to pull it out or nothing. Yeah, we just run new just new lines. But we've got this one done. Give us a thumbs up for filming it. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.